Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Crossway we have the ESV True Tone Heritage. Now up to this point, this Bible was only available in an heirloom option and would cost you in excess of $200 retail and even with discounts, well over $150. So for them to bring this into a more affordable option where you can get this for under 50 bucks if you utilize your Crossway Plus account or if you get it from a third party distributor who has it on sale, you can get the same True Tone block that has all these amazing features for a very affordable price. Crossway is really doing us a great service. They don't have to do this. They're doing this because they want their best text blocks to be available to anybody in any price range. So let's take a look. First of all, we have the heirloom one. I've done a review on this and I'll put that on the end screen. You have your beautiful spine work. You have your leather liner with the gilt line, the edge line. You have the 28 GSM French Indopaque paper, the 9.25 font, single column format, paragraph in the readers, and then when you get to the poetry, of course you have it in that verse by verse poetic settings. Beautiful. This. Okay, it is going to have more of your simple spine, but still, when you consider the price point, the spine work on this is pretty excellent. It does only have one ribbon. I'd like to see them go ahead and add a couple. That's an inexpensive touch. Three ribbons in this would have been nice, but you know what? That's a pretty easy thing to replace. Basic black head and tail band, or on your heirloom, you're gonna have a little bit more of a decorative one. So just know that's a feature you won't have. But when we get to the text block itself, let me get to a paragraph setting here. And then we're gonna get to a paragraph setting here. And check it out. As far as paper opacity and everything from looking at it from an eyeball standpoint, I cannot tell the difference between this paper. Even from a feel standpoint, I can barely tell the difference between this paper. This paper is a little bit thicker. And I'll show you, it's hard to tell by using the spine because that edge line tab brings this up. But if you compare text block to text block, when you put them up against each other, this one is just a fraction taller. You can see probably an eighth of an inch or so taller. So that means this paper is going to be a little bit thicker. So let's go to the poetic settings so you can see an example of the ghosting because that's where the ghosting is going to be the most prominent. So when we get into, say, Job versus Jeremiah here, I'm going to be honest. I think the Chinese paper actually shows a little less ghosting. From my standpoint, from my point of view, this looks like a little bit of a better paper. So you're getting a little bit of a better paper for a lower price. And this is something you can get rebound if you don't want to sink the money into an heirloom because you want this Chinese paper. You can buy this for 35, 40 bucks and go ahead and get it rebound, sink a little bit of money into it. They can put the art gilding on it for you and all that good stuff because that's another feature this isn't going to have is the art gilding. They're both going to have sewn bindings. They're both going to be very well constructed. This one is going to have a paper liner. So that is going to be prone to tear. Of course, the corners aren't an emphasis on any of this. This is just designed to make this text block more affordable. Now, a couple of things that I did notice is when I first got this text block, I had to really take this gilding and just kind of break it in because it was all stuck together and it made the paper lay really funky. Another thing I noticed is really weird, and actually a friend of mine helped point this out to me, is that at the beginning, the paper has kind of a rough feel almost like that old Chinese paper from the Omegas. But then once you get somewhere around Isaiah, it gets smooth. It's almost like it's two different papers. I don't know that it is or it isn't. I don't know why that is, but it is strange because this is smooth as silk. And then when you're right here, it's got a little bit of a rough texture to it. That's very strange. You can't see any difference with the eye. It all looks the same, but that is something, if you pay attention to details, you may pick up along the way. So thank you to my friend for pointing that out. Of course, when you get to the New Testament, you're going to have your notes and references on the bottom. 9.25 font, really nice, generous margin space on the outside. Everything you come to know and love with the Heirloom series without the price tag. And you have this nice True Tone cover because ultimately, to be quite honest, you don't even need to get this rebound. True Tone has come a long way in flexibility. Check this out. You're holding it in your hand and look at that. Another thing is when you get to the beginning of this book in Genesis, you're not going to have that edge line hump holding up your paper. 
Now, this cover is a bit stiffer than this, so it is gonna have a little bit of a harder time laying flat early into Genesis, but like right here. Let's go to Exodus chapter two in both books. You can see that rising up a little bit, and you can already see that edge line hump. See how the edge line hump is coming up? In Exodus, you're not gonna have that issue here. So once you get this cover kind of worked in and broken in, it's gonna lay beautifully flat. Let's get an example in the center. See how wide and open that is laying, but when you get to the center of this one, you see how those edge line tabs are just holding it up just a little bit and moving that text and chapter numbers kind of more down in the gutter. Let me give you an example that looks a little closer, like right here. See how that 29 is a little bit further out of the gutter than that 58, that's because of that edge line hump. These are both really amazing options. And if you're in the market for a premium heirloom Bible and you like the 9.25 font, you love this personal size. This really reminds me of the size of a personal size Quintel. So if you like that size and you like that single column and you really wanna fork out the money, the heirloom, Wellington and Goatskin are both phenomenal options. But if you like the layout, and you don't want to put the money in it, and for under 40 bucks, this is a home run. Go ahead and grab this thing. It is a little weird that the paper is rough and part of the Old Testament, and then moving toward the New Testament, it smooths out, but it's just more of an oddity than it is really a problem. It's not something you can really tell unless you just feel it. This is a phenomenal Bible. I highly recommend that you grab you one. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholsworth.